we are a symbol of change and must act accordingly. Colleagues, the global environment today demands that we, the BRICS nations, approach key contemporary issues seriously, constructively and collectively. A BRICS meeting is an important event in our diplomatic calendar and more so at a time when the international situation is challenging. Colleagues, the global environment today demands that we, the BRICS nations, approach key contemporary issues seriously, constructively and collectively. Our gathering must send out a strong message that the world is multipolar, that it is rebalancing and that old ways cannot address new situations. We are a symbol of change and must act accordingly. This responsibility is even greater as we contemplate the devastating after effects of the COVID pandemic, the stresses arising from conflict and the economic distress of the global south. They underline the deep shortcomings of the current international architecture, which does not reflect today's politics, economics, demographics, or indeed aspirations. For two decades, we have heard calls for reform of multilateral institutions, only to be continuously disappointed. It is therefore imperative that BRICS members demonstrate sincerity in regard to reforming global decision-making, including that of the UN Security Council. Excellencies, at the heart of the problems we face is economic concentration that leaves too many nations at the mercy of too few. This may be in regard to production, resources, services, or connectivity. Recent experiences impacting health, energy, and food security only highlight this fragility. India undertook the voice of the Global South exercise to place these issues before the G20. We urge that BRICS give it particular consideration and promote the economic decentralization that is so essential to political democratization. Among the key threats to international peace and security is that of terrorism, all nations must take resolute measures against this menace, including its financing and propaganda. It must be combated in all its forms and manifestations and never be condoned under any circumstances.